Hello, welcome to Let's Play Fire Hero Emblem Radiant Dawn Part 8, I think. Yeah. You know, always take it away, epic voice man. Three years passed. Dayan mustered all of its formidable military might and cut a bloody swath through neighboring Crimea in a sudden invasion. Dayan was defeated, however, and the dreams of its ruler, Mad King Ashnard, died with him. Which is around the end of Path of Radiance, from what I've heard. Ashnard's son, Peleus, possesses a gentle sincerity that is a bright counterpoint to his late father's violence and duplicity. Ill-suited though he seems for these troubled times, his presence is a welcome sight to Micaiah's eyes. Peleus, declared rightful heir to the throne, finds his name becoming a rallying cry for Dayan. At his side is the only person he believes can lead his liberation army, the Silver-Haired Maiden. And you'll soon see why hey, she becomes useful. But she sure cheats because she can actually see in the future, kinda. Dude, what dicks? Ugh, yeah. Can't wait for the part one end game. Where you finally got hit that pig. I think that was because she was y too young back then. But I could be wrong. Uh oh, he smells a rat. Now, like I said in the last part, I'm not going to do the battle preparations and the battles those in one video. That'd make the video too long. Then we have this guy. Let's not. Much not. Must not spoil. Let's not spoil. Yeah, count on you, cough, cough.
Um, you were praising her, her earlier. Now, well, she's just a child. Mary Sue powers activate. <laughs> and no, uh, well, no, Mary Sue. Oh, please tell me he's finally gonna kill over. <laughs> nice saw. <laughs> well, the saw is still funny. Though not as funny as Ike. She's gonna sell that on drugs. <laughs> the end. Or probably booze or whiskey. Uh, never mind. Scroll get. In case you're wondering what first that's four speed or her bonus experience. Oh, she's gonna finally be level ten. Eligible for promotion. 
Too bad she's not getting any HP. Then let's give Makai her experience. Because, well, she's gonna promote at the end of this part. Should I give it to Meg? Nah. Anyways, this is what Paragon does. Restores 10% 10, 10 of total HP for each turn. And here's what we have for bargains. A javelin, a hand axe, cure and mend. The mend staff is kinda worth it, though the others, not so much. Let's get a light tome. Not for Micaiah, but for Laura. Let's have her use this Master Seal. Yeah, yeah, I know it's a bit too early for her to use it, but... Hey, when am I ever going to use this thing? Now, there's another way she can promote, is if she reaches past level 20. I heard in the Japanese version, for third tiers, they cannot reach level... They cannot promote by reaching level 20. I mean, second tier. Anyways, now she is a bishop, which means she can fight now. So, I'd highly recommend against it. Because of her low HP. Let's see here, anything else? No, I don't want a bronze sword. I want a seal sword. For Zahark. And another one for Zahark. No, I don't want it for Micaiah. And a Steel Lance for Torneo. And another one for Torneo. See here, what else? All right, so I have the second master seal. Now where is it? All right, but well first let's send all the rest to convoy. Now let's give it to Nolan because he is the true leader of the Dawn Brigade before Micaiah showed up, I think. So let's make him more look like a captain of that said brigade. Alright. Now he's a warrior. A lot more useful than Laura, if you ask me. Hell, he actually made it to my... F to the final part of the end game. And when I had... him as a reaver. And also Edward, oddly. Now let's fight. But don't worry, she's not going to appear on any maps. Meg, go away! Let's save. 
We'll see you guys in the next part. Goodbye, everyone.